My name is Andrew George, a 99th percentile MCAT tutor, and today I want to talk to you about the best way to take notes for the MCAT. To do so, I will address the following questions. 1. Will simple note-taking work for the MCAT? 2. What system of review will result in MCAT success? 3. How can I utilize note cards effectively? First of all, will simple note-taking work for the MCAT? One of the most difficult things about the MCAT is that it covers such a vast amount of material. For this reason, the MCAT is unlike any other test you have ever taken in your entire life. For most exams, the typical student is able to jot down some notes during class, review those notes a couple times before the test, and then end up getting a decent grade. I'm sorry to break it to you, but that strategy is not going to work for the MCAT. The MCAT will require a much more advanced system of review. So, what system of review will result in MCAT success. Many top MCAT scores report that in order to see success on test day, they utilized note cards. The reason note cards are more effective than simple note taking is due to the fact that note cards require the student to interact with the material. While reviewing simple notes, on the other hand, the student is simply engaged in passive reading. Now, one of the biggest challenges with note cards is knowing how to use them effectively. Most students simply write a term on the front with its definition on the back. But that is not going to cut it for the MCAT. Our Crushing the MCAT guidebook has an entire chapter devoted to the effective construction and use of note cards. With our guidebook in hand, you will know exactly what to do in order to have every MCAT concept fresh in your mind on test day. With so much material to cover for the MCAT, you won't want to prepare without this essential guidebook. Act now by going to our website and get instant access to the first chapter for free. We look forward to helping you reach your MCAT goal.